Hey there guys, it's your good pal Wiggly, and welcome back to more Let's Play Metroid Prime 3 Corruption Blind. In the last episode, we got the spider ball after doing some backtracking in Valhalla and uh, Norium. And in this episode, we're going to be continuing on. Oh, and we also backtracked in Elysia. Speaking of Elysia, that's where we are now. In this episode, uh, if it takes long enough, this episode will just be a spider ball backtracking and collecting and combing episode and then um we'll see if we'll continue the plot this episode but uh there's a lot of stuff that i remember needing spider ball for so uh yeah anyway starting we are here in the hover plat something or other uh it's okay well we're, we're in the steam bot barracks actually what was i looking at before there that was what it was but uh we are in the steam bot I already forgot the name of it because I'm just that, that good. Steambot Barracks, that's what it was. Alright, and we got ourselves a missile expansion. Back at Hoverplat docking site, uh, we can go ahead and use Spiderball here. Um, we read the lore here before, but um, now we can actually use Spiderball to grab the object here. Oh man, this is cool. They are going be above and beyond with Spider Ball this time. I'm impressed so far. Uh, that's kind of weird. Okay, there we go. Made me like stop pressing down and start pressing up part way through that roll there, and it was kind of odd. But that's okay so, because we got ourselves another ship missile expansion. So I'll see you guys at the next power up, wherever that might be. So now that we are back at this room, which I know is where the last piece of lore is, we can go ahead and give our energy to make this lift go up. So we have a shortcut and we don't have to redo all of it. Sorry, I hit my mic there. I don't know if you heard that. Audio balancing with this mic is kind of difficult when you don't quite know how it works. And I think I can just... No, I can't. Alright, now how am I supposed to get over there? That's the big question here. Do I just try to aim straight for it? Yeah, there we go. That's our missile expansion. Nice stuff. Oh my gosh, my mic peaked there. I'm very sorry about that. I'm working on it. And what is our last piece of lore here? What have we? Phazon. One week after we had lost communication with the Aurora unit, we witnessed the living planet strike again. It sent, it sent forth several stellar objects, one aimed directly for us. It streaked through the clouds of Elysia, destroying a large portion of our home, ultimately striking the distant core below. Soon, our sensors detected the presence of strange energy. Our readings matched with the Federation's data. This was the same toxin that corrupted countless other planets in our creator's world. The Galactic Scourge was called Phazon. I added the word was in there by the end by accident, but I believe that's all lore in both Brio and Skytown. Um, now, uh, I did get some Galactic Federation data, um, and we haven't read about Olympus-class battleship yet. The Olympus-class battleship is the first Federation capital ship designed to use, on use an onboard Aurora unit. They are the flagships of the... The flagships of the fleets they serve in, usually commanded by an officer of flag rank. Battleships of this class have smaller crews than most ships of a similar size due to the presence of the Aurora unit. The space saved in crew support is used for more battle systems. The enormous vessels are powered by fuel gel, making the scarce commodity of the extreme value to the Phazon. Or to the Federation military. Oh my gosh, I can't read. I'm sorry, it's pretty late here. Alright, so... Yeah, um, I know there's one more, at least one more here. We'll have to check Eastern Skytown, but um, I know there's at least one more. There was like this, it was like right when we entered. 
So I'm gonna go take a look for that. Oh, uh, it looks like you can refight the steam bot. Okay, can I x-ray visor? Yes, I can. Alright, perfect. That's pretty interesting. I didn't think anything would be down here. But, uh, we made quick work of them. So what was this all about? Oh yeah, I remember this. This isn't what I was thinking of. I was thinking of like this area that it had like this glass window that you could just see a um you could just see a missile expansion through. It was like right at the entrance. I recall it because it was so teasy. But what do we have here? An energy cell. Heck yeah, I will take that very happily. Yes, please. Alright, anything else in here? I don't believe so. N does not appear to be. So, I will meet you guys at whatever the heck I find next. First thing I want to say is that phasoids are really annoying. And second thing is that I found where uh, I was talking about. Um, it is not um, the, like, where we entered, but it's where we entered East Skytown roundabout. This is the room I was thinking of. And this is the last place I can really remember on Elysia. Um, except I'm pretty sure, whoops, my bad. Um, I'm pretty sure that, uh, the room where we got to be able to see all of the, the collectibles was here, and then there was a lot of spider ball stuff we couldn't get in that room, so I'm gonna keep searching for that room. And then after that, unless I find anything else, like, specific... I don't think there's anything else left here for us to do in Elysia. Like, I can't find anything. Um, so anyway, let's search for that room. So this is the room that I was talking about. Uh, let's see what else we can get. Alright, so for Skytown, we got those ones. Um, and then, are there any others? Not on this side. But I do see one, two of them over there. Um... Can I get those already? That'd be super cool if I could. Yes, I can. Okay. Yeah. Here we go. Alright, so this one gives me... What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've seen that cutscene before. It just flies into space. Ether information has been added a logbook okay what does that mean ether information like planet ether ether information Not in lore. Hmm. Okay. I don't 
really know what that got me. Is this gonna is this gonna give me like Talon information? Alright, we'll watch this one last time. Yeah. Okay. Um. It said research information. Yeah, planet Talon 4. Okay, so let's read. Satellite information shows that ether is slowly recovering from a cataclysmic event. A stellar object struck struck the planet with an incredible force, burning ether's fertile plains and destroying the lush forests covering her surface. The planet's own energy supply, once torn in two by the impact, is now stable. The inhabitants of the world, the starborn Luminoth, have begun the long task of many ether. That's cute. I like I like that they they're telling me what's going on. I was hoping the Luminoth were doing okay. Umos and all them. Talon 4 appears to be a utopia for biological life, containing an oxygen-rich and hospitable atmosphere. The planet is home to countless species of flora and fauna. Satellite scans detect numerous structures on the planet's surface, with closer examination revealing many of these structures to be the Chozo of Chozo origin. Talon 4's scar... Talon 4's scar, the result of the celestial body impacting the planet's surface decades ago, is still visible. Satellite scans are unable to determine the extent of the original damage, but the planet appears to have recovered from any negative effects of the object's impact. Nice. Okay, well, good to know that Ether and Talon are both doing okay. That's awesome. Okay, well, I don't think there's anything else for us to do in Elysia. Um, and I can't even, off the top of my head, really think of anything, like any spider ball tracks in Brio or Norian, but it doesn't hurt to look. So I'm going to go take a look, and if that's all that's all about, then we'll head back to our really only one choice here, and that is Space Pirate Homeworld. So uh, I'll see you guys on one of those three planets no I won't I lied uh, um, literally in the room that I was uh, in while I said that I looked at the map and I saw that there was a missile expansion here and I just totally failed to get it let me try that one more time alright so what else would they be giving me for power ups I mean We've only really seen high frequency beam doors. I don't really see what else they would be giving us. How close are we to the end of the game? It feels like we're pretty damn close, be considering by this. But at the same time, it doesn't feel like I've been playing it for that long. But that could be, that could be a result of me having played two previous Metroid Prime games now, so it just feels like it zooms by. Nice. Okay, so we've got all power-ups and everything. It looks like we've 100 percented Eastern Skytown, so that's really good to know. Um, so yeah, I will see you guys now on another planet. Okay, so I just want to mention that collectible hunting isn't always the easiest thing in the world because sometimes for some reason they just kind of appear like off the map like way over so I don't know if that's a room I don't have but we have the map station so that can't be so I'm looking for a way to get this collectible and I have just like no clue what's even going on with this um I've tried looking around with all three visors and there's just like nothing back that direction so I'm really like at a loss on some of these collectibles but as far as they go I'll look for them 
Uh, I suppose. Oh my god. <laughs> Well, fuck it in a bucket, I suppose. Oh my god. Gah. Shoot me now. Okay, so in this room in Norian, uh, I have noticed that these two power conduits online, but are online, but this one is not. So let's go take a look and see if we can fix anything about that. There's something up here I have not scanned. Hey, the Valhalla incident. The got fucked ship Valhalla was on a, <laughs> was on a training mission after receiving new crew at Tevis. We believe that Valhalla was ambushed en route to the training base by a fleet of pirate vessels. Data suggests the pirates were using upgraded starships powered by Phazon. That plus superior numbers were more than the Valhalla could handle. Current whereabouts of the Valhalla are unknown. That's not true. She is presumed destroyed in action. I guess at the point of that being written, that was true. So I will stop being so cynical. Alright, so as far as restoring that thing goes, I don't think I can do that yet. Because there are these doors that are blocking my access, and I just, I can't do anything about these. Um, as far as I can tell. So, that's one collectible that we are just going to have to leave for now. But, uh, I'm just gonna collectible hunt my happy little ass off. Um, and that'll be this episode. So, um... I suppose if you want more plot, you can go ahead and skip to the next episode, but I want to deep comb the hell out of this game right now. I am in the mood. By the way, it would appear that that, uh, that one there is the only collectible left on Norian. However, uh, there's only one left on Elysia as well, so I probably just shouldn't have left Elysia. So we're going to grab that, and then there's a pretty hefty amount left on Brio. So, uh, but yeah, as far as Elysia goes, there's only one I can find, and it was down here on the Skybridge Hera. So we're going to go take a look at that one real quick, and then we're finally going to call it quits. Hopefully we can call it quits with Elysia, because it's still not my favorite world, I'll be honest. Um, so yeah. Okay, um, one more thing on Norian, sorry. Um, there is also up here the control tower, which I remember the word control being used to uh, describe... Oh my god, I'm blind. There's a collectible over there. Oh. Um, but um, I remember the word control being used to describe a energy cell. So there will be plenty to do on Norian back at another trip. But uh, since I'm blind, I'm going to go check out that other one. I'm really sorry about the disorganization of this, but deep combing in this game for some reason is harder for me than uh, Prime 1 and Prime 2. Even, even though this game is more linear and straightforward, I'm having a, a far more difficult time organizingly it, uh, going through this kind of stuff in an organizing way, an organized way. I also can't speak. So, <laughs> alright, I will see you guys right over here. Found it. Alright. Here we are. The spider ball looks different here. That's kind of cool. Okay, so up here we have another missile expansion. Man, I'm just, I am just, hey, 75% of pickups. Nice, special ending unlocked. Nice. We're gonna get 100% though. So, um, yeah. Uh, that text box cut off my train of thought. <laughs> but, um, yeah, dude. Um, let's go back to Elysia and check out that one that's left now. Oh. Okay, I mean, I could have gotten that forever ago. <laughs> okay, well, um, unless I'm blind like on Norian, 
I don't see any other white dots in Elysia. So, unless there are energy cells here still, it would appear that we our that we our that we are like ready to say goodbye forever to Elysia. Um I might be jumping the gun on that, but Alright, well Neato. How many missiles do we have? Two hundred exact. Wow. Those little dots are pretty handy. So anyway, um, I'll meet you guys on Brio, where there is definitely a lot more to get. Alright, so there's only one in, fi in Brio Fire, and uh, I'm pretty sure that that is the one that is blocked by that phaseite plating, and we have no way of dealing with that, so back to the other conjoined portions of Brio. There was this thing too, and this has like the same kind of like red dot symbol in the middle um, as the doors on Norian. I just kind of noticed these, so I'm going to keep these in mind for later. A large battery appears to have been removed from it. Okay. I know where to get that, I remember. We picked that thing up before. So I will come back to this area with that battery for sure. Aha! And here's the other one here. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, and then it almost looks like is that an energy cell in here? That is. Okay, cool. So I know how to get another energy cell and then we can actually <laughs> move forward one more bit in Valhalla and just procrastinate. If I can get that, we can move forward one more bit in Valhalla and procrastinate on Space Pirate Homeworld further <laughs> if we really wanted to. Um, but I won't, uh, we'll, we'll continue the main plot. Um, hmm. I don't like this. <laughs> there is a hole here that would require me to go in there with... Ugh. I don't like this one bit. Um... I guess we'll give it a shot. It's looking like it's what it wants me to do. Alright, let's go! Oh my god, go Samus! Oh my god. <sighs> Asshole placement. Asshole placement, please. Oh god. Okay, um, well, let's go ahead and get back out. <laughs> All right, in the room with the three statues, we can now at last give energy to this one and see where it takes us. What the heck are you? That was weird. Hey, spider ball. Nice. Yet another missile expansion. How many missiles do we have now? 210. Oh my goodness. There can't be many more. It was 255, I'm pretty sure. It was 255 or 225. I, I, I can never remember which it is. 
Okay, I gotta time this a little bit. You guys are annoying, whatever you are. Okay. Oh my goodness, why? It, it, it like forced me to go back down. Sometimes the gravity on spider ball is not preferable. There we go. You fucking assholes. Okay. Where are you coming from? From you. What are you? Fargo Wasp. Protective apparent bioform capable of self-detonation. Fargo wasps are highly protective of their parent hatcher. Even moments after birth, they will swarm together and attack n any nearby organism. They are often used as a defense mechanism by the Fargo hatcher, and as a result, few live to adulthood. Okay, fine. I'll just kill the host. Fargo hatcher. Able to jam incoming missiles. Mouth is vulnerable to attack. Okay. Within a Fargo hatcher's maw is an organ cluster that's vulnerable to attack, but only when exposed. Fargo hatchers are only or are capable of giving birth to dozens of young in a matter of moments. These offspring will immediately swarm in on any nearby attacker. Their skin is incredibly resilient and will deflect most weapon fire. That sounds very annoying, and I need to handle that straight away. Come on, buddy. Open up. Oh. Okay. It's like a living hive, and that's disgusting. I hate wasps and stuff, and that just doesn't help their case. Okay. Come on. Come on. Die. Thank you. Okay, now that that is solved, we can at last do the puzzle. Or not. <laughs> I'm getting a little annoyed. <laughs> okay. Slow down, chill out, have fun. Okay, there we go. Now we're not sucking hardcore. Again, they're doing some pretty neat spider ball stuff. Like always. They got more and more creative with it each game. Um. What do I have to do? Bomb jump here? Oh my god, I do. Oh, come on. Oh, man. Yes! Got it. 
Well, bam. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, how many more are there here? All right, back in auxiliary dynamo, um, there is this bit here. Ah, here's the entrance. Okay, and I'm pretty sure this had something to do with spider ball. No. Hold on. I see. I have to grapple this. There we go. And then we go ahead and go over here. Nice. Okay. Ship missile expansion. Cool, cool. Um, I looks like I could have gotten that a while ago, um, but I guess I just didn't think to target that one bit there. Alright, and then that leads us to pretty much our last thing to do, um, and that's to go grab that battery, which is in this room, I believe, and then take it over to here, and we'll do that straight away. All right, picking up the battery right now. And placing the battery. energy cell ahoy but is that what it's telling me about because I don't think it's marking energy cells otherwise do they no it said suit expansion locations not energy cells so is there still a collectible in this room after that it's very possible All right. It zoomed in on this circle, but I'm not sure what to do with this circle. All right. So let's take a hop on the wild side, whatever that means, and fall down. Oh man. Much better. Okay. And there's our energy cell. Huh. Okay, it does mark energy cells on the screen. That's very good. That's very good. I'm I'm okay with that wholeheartedly. So that looks like everything we can get in Brio. Like the main portion of Brio is done. And then there's only one more thing in Fire Brio. And that's probably also an energy cell, thinking about it. So, um... You know what? What the hell? We'll go, we'll go play some in Valhalla while we're at it. Why not? Alright, so here we are back in that one room that we last got to. Figured we might as well just come do this while I'm running around. I, I've already got three hours of mostly backtracking for this one episode and I have no clue how long it'll be it'll probably be nowhere near as long as I hope it will oh where's that gonna lead me Okay, this is pretty cool. Hey! Got the ship missile expansion. 
Alright, well, how many more can there possibly be? <laughs> um... I'm not sure, but I suppose we'll find out, yeah? Ugh, we have to wait for this door to open. There we go. Alright, where are we? Holy cow. This is a long passageway. And now we're back out here. Cool. All right. Well, that was a lot of um, backtracking. Uh, but we got a lot of cleanup done. Um, so much so that it looks like hyper mode failure. What? What does that mean? Huh. Well, um... I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy this episode as disorganized and as uh, boring as it might have been. Um, but we usually have a couple cleanup episodes, but this time we really only had one big cleanup episode. Um, so, anyway, if you liked the video, please consider uh, please consider giving it a like. If you are new, please consider subscribing, and. If you want to follow my Twitter or Tumblr, those are, in the, uh, those are in the description. And I hope to see you guys in the next episode. Thank you all for watching.